Once a year, during the first two weeks of June, something spectacular happens in Tennessee's Great Smoky Mountains. People from all over gather and meet at the Sugarlands Visitor Center for a chance to witness one of nature's miracles. That miracle being the Elkmont synchronous fireflies. This is a phenomenon which only occurs in two places in the entire world. One being here in the Elkmont Nature Reserve in the Smoky Mountains, and the other being near a large swamp in Southeast Asia. Thousands and thousands of fireflies will make their way to Elkmont to give spectators a synchronous light show which lasts from sundown to around 11 at night. This species of firefly has an internal sensor which allows them to know when a nearby fly has lit and which they respond with their own light as quickly as possible. Once the flies begin to sink, they begin all performing together at once with flashes of light that last as long as six seconds. This creates an amazing wave of blinking lights which is truly spectacular. Well, what it is, is there are a species of fireflies that are unique to this area, and they're a synchronous firefly. Instead of them just intermittently flashing, these fireflies will flash synchronously. It'll be pitch black, one or two males will start flashing, and all the rest of them will catch up to them, flash at the same time, and they all go completely black. That's pretty cool. Is it a, something like a mating ritual, or is there any significance it is. That's, to the... That's what it is. It's the males are flashing, the females are down below. Okay. They're competing for the females flashing. The females will link up with the males that they choose. Uh, they'll mate. The male will die, the female will lay its eggs, and it'll stay in a larvae state in the ground for about a year and a half. The adult stage is only 14 to 21 days. The event usually has an astonishing turnout, with the Sugarlands parking lot filling up past capacity by as early as 4 in the afternoon. The event also brings in major media attention with reporters from all over, including the New York Times. Once you find a parking spot, forest rangers will direct you to the line for the trolleys. The lines fill up quickly, so it would be advised to get there early. The trolley ride costs $1 round trip and is thanks to the cooperation between the City of Gatlinburg and the National Forest Service. Once on the trolley, it will be driven up 7 miles north to the Elkmont Nature Reserve and Little River Trailhead. When you exit the trolley, you will be directed to a station where rangers will supply you with red and blue cellophane and rubber bands to cover your flashlights because white light scares the flies away. You will also be advised not to use any flash photography. When past the flashlight station, everyone is free to explore the river trails of Elkmont to search for a good viewing spot. Elkmont is a nature sanctuary with streams, waterfalls, and rustic abandoned cabins scattered throughout. Once you find a good spot, you sit and wait for the sun to fall and for the fireflies to emerge.